Why are we driving so fast, dude? I what can't. was my speed? Doesn't matter. Driver's license for research. Go ahead and step out. License is fine. Is it? Ah. Awesome. He's already going to jail for your obstruction. Georgia law requires that you cannot delay a traffic stop. The time limit on the delay is kind of up to interpretation. So how did he delay? My biggest problem is the level of not physical obstruction, but you know, the delay. Yeah, the, the, the obstruction. Happens. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at body camera footage from a traffic stop in Georgia. The officer's own dash camera clearly shows that he did not have probable cause to initiate the stop. On top of that, he wants so badly to arrest the victim of an unlawful stop for obstruction. It seems the sergeant wasn't having any of it. Stick around until the end for my thoughts. Let's get into it. <laughs> Where are you flying? Stop! Your incident has been updated. Why are we driving so fast, dude? Driver's license proof insurance. Nine one. 1 Start me a supervisor is requesting one. Driver's license proof insurance. Driver's license for research. Go ahead and step out. He's in route. Go ahead and step out. Go ahead and step out for me. He's in route, but you're going to go ahead and step out. Why am I stepping out of the car? Listen, because you traffic offense, traffic stop. Traffic offense. You were speeding, reckless driving through a neighborhood. I was speeding, okay. reckless driving yes. through a neighborhood. So go ahead and step how out of the car. How did you see me speed, reckless Go ahead and step out of the car. Sir, how did listen, you see listen. me reckless driving listen, through a neighborhood, listen. sir? This sir, does listen, not need to listen. go the way it's going to go, sir. What, but it's going to go that go? way. Which way is it going to go? You're going to go to jail. For what? For resisting. What this is I a resist? lawful traffic stop. Just hand me your driver's license. My supervisor's en route. Sir, um, I don't consent to no search. I'm not searching you. I don't consent to anything. I'm not searching you. I would, this is I would a lawful do traffic you need stop. Do so hand me your driver's when license, please. Your, your officer get here. But you sir, cannot you delay my traffic stop. Traffic my sergeant stop. is en route. You did not do a traffic First of all, sir. That's I why was, my license sirens are on. Sir, you was coming towards me. Was your yes. body camera on? I absolutely was the entire time. Okay. And my dash did, camera was running. Where did you see recorded. Where did you see me driving reckless, sir? Right there. Right there. Where? Where? On the road that you were coming down at a high rate of speed. I'm speed detection certified. You I have do. a radar in your I car? Do. So how fast was I going? Driver's license proof insurance. How fast was I going? You're about to catch an obstruction charge. I'm not catching. How Driver's would I? Driver's license. Obstruction charge? Well, I'm asking listen, you a listen, question. Listen. I'm asking you listen, a question, sir. Listen. First of all, and first of all, I'm on my property, sir. Okay. That's another I listen, stopped you in the road. You did not you, stop me. You listen. turned. You were turning the corner, and you and you blew and I, blue, blue light. Blue light. That didn't mean and you was coming to stop me. That is that did not mean you was coming to stop me, sir. Okay. That did not mean you was Driver's coming to stop me, sir. If you were going to blue light me, sir, you should have came around and you should have blue light me. I'm turning the corner. You that's, made blue lights. I didn't know that was a traffic works. stop. Driver's license for insurance. Well, I wait for you, super. Not I when wait for you, super. To identify himself. I'm not refusing to identify myself. I said this I would. Well, I would proceed when this your supervisor get here. That's not how the law that's works. That's when I'm requ you can I'm re request the supervisor. Yes. but you still have to continue with my traffic stop until he gets here. I can wait till he get here. You cannot. That is Georgia law. So I can wait. You've you know, you don't know who I am. You've been misinformed, sir. You really don't know who I am. I don't need to know who you, cares are. Who you okay. are. Okay, all right. That it was is, not a traffic, a traffic stop, stop because, sir, when I, I was, I don't have to be I was, you. I stopped at the stop sign. I was to turning you. to come to my house. You blue light Where me. You, I don't have to be you did not blue light me. You blue light me when I pulled in my driveway. I was rolling my window up. You did not blue light me and get behind me, sir, until I put into my driveway. It's how I put into my driveway. All right. Well, we we get your body cam and all that. It's cool. Is this your supervisor right here? Nope. It's not super easy. Nope. Okay. So now we got the whole force out here for what you said, a last traffic stop, right? Traffic stop. Okay. This is my house. Okay. You came from that way. So how, where the hell you got me reckless hey, driving if you came from that way? So you in, a, you in a neighborhood for something else. I'm just getting out work. And you think you see my car. You think I'm a part of the bullshit. No. No. Because you can't say I was reckless driving. I, I absolutely can. Based on your speed through a neighborhood. I what can. was my speed? Doesn't matter. What was my speed? Doesn't matter. It does matter. It, Could wait, be. I will. You can't. I will testify to it in court. You would testify to it in yes. court. What was my speed, sir? I don't need to tell you that. You need, you need to tell me if you said I, I was speeding because George, you're supposed to be George, giving me a ticket, right? I said reckless driving. Reckless driving. What's reckless driving, sir? 
Reckless drive is a high rate of speed, but you coming from that way. How can you say I'm coming from reckless speed? Not always. Reckless speed. Not always. Hey, bro, you're real funny, but I can't wait till your supervisor get here, and I can't wait to get your dash cam and your body cap. Absolutely. You don't know who I am. I don't need to know But I'm going to have a field day with you. Absolutely. All you're right. still obstructing right now. How am I, I obstructing? I'm asking you questions. Me your driver's license. I, I delayed giving you my job because I'm asking you. We got to get an understanding. I delayed delay. giving you my driver's you license, but I never job. refused to give you my driver's that license. I requested for a supervisor what for this traffic stop to continue. Called. But again, nope. sir, you pull me over on my property. Okay, sir. All right. Okay. You know what? You can request a supervisor, but you cannot delay my traffic stop while okay. you wait for a supervisor. You never, you never told me that you was pulling me over. My you never and said sirens that, is, that is, you're is, turning the corner going that way. You could have been no, telling me that you're I going to an emergency. Pointed, the dash camera recorded it. My you did car not was point at me, bro. My car was stopped. I made in the it. Road. So you literally think I got? I'm up five or six o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to ignore you because I'm coming to my house. I'm just getting out of work, sir. Right? Man, I see your driver's license. <laughs> license is fine. Is it? Ah, awesome. Good to know. He's already going to jail for your obstruction, so. Yep, yes, sir. Can I talk to you, or you want to wait? I'll wait for you to buy. Okay, that's fine. 69, the vehicle flying through Laurel Green. As soon as they pulled up on it, they ran on foot, but they never gave a freaking direction, so I didn't know where they were running. I thought this was going to be a second vehicle. Because he flew down the street. And then I, I literally went, pointed directly at him, lights and sirens. He starts rolling down his window. Huh? Yeah. Or he knows him. Oh, yeah. He's got a suspended license. All right. So I'm coming into the neighborhood here. And as I'm pulling in, I see a car coming this way down this side street there at a extreme high rate of speed. So I immediately turn my blue lights on. He stops at the stop sign. I'm kind of, he's at the stop sign. I'm kind of like this. Put my takedowns on. He starts rolling his window down. So I go to roll my window down. He rolls it up and then whips it in here. Okay. So I pulled in behind him. And uh, okay. yeah, he's suspended. And he refused to give his ID for like the first half of the traffic stop. He gave it to uh, you now? Yep, yeah, got it now, which comes back suspended. Is this his house? Uh, it doesn't come back to the license on a uh, house, but he said he lives here. Okay. But um, he wants a supervisor. Good okay. evening, sir. How are you? Supervisor. I am. Sergeant Clover. So, I really don't deal with, like, lowering officers and everybody. I don't like hostile and stuff like that. I kind of have bad interactions. Mm -hmm. um, so, your officer called himself on the traffic stop. Actually, he was coming from that way. I was at the stop sign. He turned on his blue lights. He did not make no contact if he was blue lighting now. They pulled into my driveway, turned my car off, he walked up to the car, starts talking, first person right here. Not knowing it's a traffic stop. Mm -hmm. Question you immediately. Okay. Because I'm not going until you got here. Okay. See, he's telling me I'm an instruction, I can arrest for instruction all that, because he said I'm playing a traffic stop. I request for a supervisor, I just want to speak to a supervisor, I'd rather not deal with people, especially if we already coming off that we on the wrong foot because you're claiming that you're the traffic stop. Whatever. Okay. At this point. Whatever he whatever he wanted to do from now on. But I did as I was waiting here, I did hear over here him say something about my license suspended. I would tell you this, I did not know my license was suspended. I actually worked at Georgia Port. I'm a long showman. I just got off work and I actually worked off my driver's license and I just paid the ticket. Um, and I was just looking at my point, but when he said it, I actually looked it up and my license was suspended. Okay. I, I did not know that up until now, but I wouldn't have had the paper on here like the last pink slip of, I think I just paid like a super speed of fine or whatever, or whatever, or, or whatever. And I think it just, whatever just happened, it just started like this week and went affect this week. But mm -hmm. again, I did not know that. I just wrote several jurisdictions between Georgia Port, Garden City, Chatham County, and Savannah. And I, just, I didn't know that. But again, gotcha. whatever he was talking about, he like, he was coming from that way. He just put his blue lights on. I'm thinking something going on in the area, especially when I see the amount of officers in the area, yeah. and that he was just trying to go through something, not initiating a traffic stop on me. Like I said, I'm at the stop sign, I stop, and was able to even pull in my driveway. That's when he pulled behind me. That's when I realized that he okay. activated his blue lights. Anytime blue lights and siren are activated, it is the traffic stop. Even okay. if they coming from a direction of he's like, he's literally turning. Yeah, so he's probably trying to turn in order to pull you up. So you saw you going down a high rate of speed to the neighborhood.
Okay. I don't see how you're going to be able to see that coming from that way. I mean, the street. I, I, that is okay. it. But that's what body count and dash count works out. So, cool. I'm Sergeant McCall. What was your name? My name is Malik Jones. Jones? Malik Jones. Nice to meet you. So, Mr. Jones, what we're going to do now is we're going to get some tickets, okay? okay. All right. Um, but for now, just because of the, how the encounter is going, tensions are kind of high, I'm going to ask you to step out of the vehicle and we're going to do these tickets at the back of the vehicle. Yeah, we're going to verify some info. Do okay? you mind something out for me? Oh, my goodness. All right. Is leaving work currently? Mm -hmm. Is leaving What's work? going on? I'm just leaving work. You just leaving work? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is your house? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to talk with Officer Salva real quick and I'll come back and talk to you. All right. So, issuing citations are over here. Oh, so as I explained to him multiple times, um, he has every right to request a supervisor, but <laughs> Georgia law requires that you cannot delay a traffic stop. And I explained that to him, that you do still have to provide your identification and then you can wait for a supervisor. Um, and he refused multiple times, not verbally, but he's just continued to ignore my request for his driver's license on multiple requests. Um, so at least obstruction and driving suspended because there's two different suspensions. Um, uh, well, I would multi get them for what you were originally informed for. Yeah, I were a reckless diamond. I mean, coming through so here at the speed he was going, that, which I didn't pick up his speed, but I, mean, I visually could tell it was extreme. It was a high rate of speed for a neighborhood. Now, the time limit on the delay can be interpreted. You know, it's kind of up to interpretation. So, how did he delay? By not well, by not giving it, oh watch your back, by not giving his driver's license. I mean that's he obstructed by not giving a driver's license when I requested it, and then I asked him to step out of the vehicle multiple times, and he did not. He said I'm waiting for a supervisor, which okay. he can wait for a supervisor, but you also cannot obstruct because um, I've read up on that mul on multiple times. And, I, I, I just yeah. want to hear. No, of course, yeah. um, and and you can't you you can obviously wait for a supervisor, but you have to at least give me your identification. And then proceed from there, which I explained. Okay. I said, just give me your driver's license, and then we'll wait for my supervisor. Yeah. Um, but has, I, he, has he been served? Suspended? There's no serve date, but there's two separate. One's like a multi. I, I got it pulled up. So repeat Georgia, repeat Georgia serious commercial violator, and then points suspension. Okay. No serve date on you. Nope. And now, yeah. So a suspension date of 812 and 628. So it's suspended for two two months now. Well the first suspension yeah. was this one. Or no, the first one was 628. One, repeat was 812-24. Yeah. Yeah. So this month. But the first time it would have been suspended would yeah. be 62824. Yeah. For a point suspension. And then it repeated to repeat serious commercial violator. Um, I really don't care either way. I mean, I'm okay with citations and at the end of the day, but yeah. whatever well, your opinion is, I know. Typically when they don't have a serve date, they, they don't know that they're suspended. Mm -hmm. Unless they've gotten personal service through the mail or, uh, or they've been served in the fashion of being pulled over and being told that they're been served. So. My biggest problem is the level of not physical obstruction but you know the delay the, yeah the, the obstruction happens, happens a lot. um you know but he he did come back and you know i mean eventually cooperate yeah i mean so you want to do the paperwork and citations yeah so, i, I guess mean, it's kind of like having a a tag laid out and not knowing about it, you know what I mean? You don't know unless you've been served. You know what I mean? I mean, that's something that the, the porch verifies all that. Well, the porch should have should have ran that, correct. But we can't rely on other people, you know what I mean? So, is that what we're going to do? Yeah, I'll, I think I'll, that would probably be on our best interest for this one. Yeah. So, get the citations. So it'll be the, the paperwork. It'll be the reckless and driving while suspended. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, drive, yes.
of the Hans real quick. Temple. Yeah, you good, Sarge. Thank you. Sonny is not a mission to guilt. First I taste. What's wrong? Where's the job? So he the man just said driving at a high rate of speed through a neighborhood and through a residential neighborhood. Wait, okay. where's the speed? Where's the speed? So so what speed was I going? I, I don't have to conduct a speed on you. Go ahead. If you want to pull it out while, while I, I want, tell you, that's that's I perfectly want, yeah, fine. I want to record and then, these, and then you can look up. Listen, you can look up. Here's the code section right here. So you feel, to feel free to look this. Me. Feel free to look this up afterwards, and you'll be able to see the code section for reckless driving. And speed is not the only factor to be considered reckless driving. Okay? There's a lot to this. Okay? It's really dark out. We get a high priority call. Right? They give a vehicle description. Your vehicle matches that description. The officer sees you going through a residential area where he determines at a high rate of speed. He doesn't have to clock you. It's what he determines. And he affects the traffic stop. Now, listen. You know what that sound like now? Your body camo? Yeah, yeah. Your body, your body camo? So it's, it's not an excuse. So if he, if he approaches you, responding to that has a description of a black vehicle like yours, heightens his, his uh, you know, but you know what you're just telling me, right? You what? know what you're telling me, right? What? Basically, I was profiled. No. Basically, because oh, my, car met, my car matched the description. Not, no, no. He, went, he had a, he needed a reason. Is, he, he needed a reason well, hold to on. blue light no, me to initiate a stop. Hold, hold on. So he's explaining what he believed. You, the vehicle description had nothing to do with it. The vehicle, I don't know if he knows, but the vehicle that we got called out for, they already found that vehicle. When I saw you, I was looking for somebody on foot. And I witnessed your vehicle driving at a high rate of speed through a residential area. High rate of speed? Because you don't got no radar. That's the so, radar speed. So, so I am, I am, you can't tell I am the speed radar and, somebody. hold on. You can I'm, be radar certified, but yo, I can't tell no, how no. fast a So They actually not. teach people. In radar average. school, Absolutely, you have man. to guess the speed to even graduate the class. You yeah, have to be within five it, mile an hour on like 60 attempts. Okay. That's part of the training. So you tra you're a traffic guy or you a, you a cop? I'm you a traffic, I'm a, oh, I do both, but I'm a traffic guy. I got. You I know somebody that works. I got there, there's people. case law after case law after it case is. law well, listen. with officers that stop people by, by the estimated speed. I mean, if I if this speed limit, I would imagine this is residential area, so by 25. law, it's 25 miles an hour. It's very easy to see someone driving with a posted speed limit. Also, I I just openly advise, like he said, to look up the few things he did. Look up the law on delaying a traffic stop and not giving an ID. And like you said, you, you never physically said, I will not give an ID, but you delayed handing over an ID, which is obstruction. Spending license is a misdemeanor, man. It is a misdemeanor, and I know it's, a, it's an also arrestable offense too, but. Well, every every traffic offense in the state of Georgia is a misdemeanor, which is we an arrestable have offense. Discretion not to arrest yeah. you have I can arrest you for a, ta a tail light or a tag light. Every, every traffic offense is a misdemeanor. We don't do that, obviously, but. I arrest 98% of people driving without a license and driving on suspended license. Me too. Normally, this is crazy. This is this is this. Like I said, this really messed me up. Reckless driving? You would absolutely go to jail for that for me too. Yep, I've never not arrested for reckless. So, oh, so you cut me a real good break tonight, huh? This well, morning. my sergeant spoke to me, and we worked it out to where you go it's home tonight. Not. You're in your driveway. You're already here. We're not on the middle of the road somewhere, so the situation is a little bit different. But you would have caught me right there. You probably took me to jail. No, I mean you're right there. So I mean, you're in front of your home. But if you're on 204, on a random spot on 204, it's a little bit different. All right, fellow patriots, I shared this video with each and every one of you to get your feedback on this traffic stop. So be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section right below the like button. My take on this incident is that it is clear from the dash camera footage that the officer did not have any probable cause for reckless driving. According to the Georgia statute, in order for the officer to have probable cause for reckless driving, the driver would need to be seen driving with disregard for the safety of persons or property. I don't know about you, but from the dash cam footage, it looks pretty clear to me that the driver was not excessively speeding. I can't even tell he was speeding at all, let alone excessively. The way the vehicle comes to a complete stop at the stop sign smoothly isn't indicative of someone excessively speeding or in disregard for the safety of persons or property. Therefore, anything that happened during the stop, such as this so-called quote-unquote obstruction, and the officer finding out the driver's license was suspended is fruit from the poisonous tree. I have a feeling that the sergeant knew this officer was making up the reckless driving charge, which is why he was against making an arrest. Or maybe the sergeant just has compassion and doesn't want to throw a man into a jail cell for traffic violations. It's clear the officer was looking for a vehicle that was involved in criminal activity and used the reckless driving as an excuse for the stop.
Did you see how happy this officer was when he found out that the driver had a suspended license? He takes joy in putting other people in jail. It's not just a job or upholding the law. He likes to put people in cages. It's also evident when the sergeant told the officer just to write citations how disappointed he was. Now, all of that being said, I personally wouldn't have acted the way the driver was acting during this interaction, even though it was an unlawful stop in my opinion, and I think a judge would agree as well. Acting this way is a surefire way to get yourself hurt by law enforcement. These situations are exactly why Lackluster and I started Attorney Shield. Having an attorney 24-7 at the touch of a button can help de-escalate the situation and advise you of your constitutional rights. Protect you and your family's rights today by signing up with the link in the description. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace.